talking to Derek Carter with another video on the Dumb Redneck TV channel. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys my uh, garden tractor. You can see a little bit of it right there. But it is a 1996 Craftsman GT 3000, I'm pretty sure. I just know it's a GT. I don't know if it's a 3000 or whatever. I, uh, I bought it, 50 bucks, no engine. I had a video on my old channel of it right after I bought it, I'm washing it and everything. But I bought it 50 bucks, no engine. Got that engine for free. Put it in it. I had to put batter, put a battery in it. I had to put a key switch in it. And a kill toggle. And then the key would shut it off. And that's pretty much that. And then I put these four wheeler tires on the back. Get rid of the old turf tires. And then I, from that point on, I didn't really do nothing to it for a long time. And it sat. I ended up pushing it outside, put it down there underneath that tarp where my John Deere is. And that's where it sat. And I was like, and then one day after my 300X broke down, I didn't have nothing. I didn't have that over here yet. Uh, so I'd, well, I'm gonna get it and work on building the three point hitch I've been wanting to build for a while. So, over a one week period, it took about uh, 18 hours, if I had to guess. Well, uh, yeah. And I built this three point hitch setup. Got this handle, pretty much like a sear set, it's homemade. So, you grab right here. And when you pull it back, it drops it down. You can't really see much of it, right? how much it's dropping it right here. Put it right here, you can. Now these are actually lower third armed off of something. And then, now we're gonna have a third arm. The connection right here. I just got it off right now. And there ain't no attachment up to it. And then I used the design of a Sears, made these rods that run to raise it up and down, and put these here. So, I mean, technically it's a prototype, I guess, because this is the only one I made, but still. I've got a couple, three or four attachments for it. I've got this plow that I built, I still gotta do some work to it. This is a strawberry heart you pull behind a horse. My grandpa took it and made it into like a cultivator. I got this disc. And I got this like draw bar for pulling trailers. And for pulling that and this. So you can raise them up and down. And then this is my third arm. Which is a piece of a just flat, really thick flat bar. I think it was like a stabilizer bar for a tractor. Something like that. All these attachments come on and off with just pins. Now, after that, I had this snow plow that I had on another mower. I took it, put it on here. Now, I didn't really put it on here to as a snow plow. I did and I didn't. I put it on here to be a snow plow and kind of like a, a push grader blade. I'm like, this mower is really good for pushing and stuff because it's got the. Uh, e speed with high and low transmission in it so it's really good for pulling and pushing and stuff so i figured it'd be the perfect mower to do the three point on and the plow now i still got i'm going to get a different set of front tires for it either tri ribs or like agricultural rear tractor tires just the little ones i'm going to run a different muffler because this one isn't the right one it's not even attached kind of sits there so eventually i might put a different seat on it if this one gets any more cracked up broke than it already is other than that i might put lights on it eventually the switch and everything's here this ain't got no lights to put on it or hood to mount them to so now I gotta get a hood. I've actually got one. I just, it's got a big dent in the top of it and I gotta fix it. And then I gotta put some stronger springs on this grater blade because whenever you hit something, it'll just kind of stretch the springs and fold down. 
so it don't work very well for grading like that so i gotta get some stronger springs some bigger ones but other than that the thing's pretty pretty happy with the way it's set up right now Uh, I ain't really got any other plans for it. I mean, I'm gonna make some more attachments and stuff. Look, I got a bush hog I'm gonna make. No, it's not like a bush hog that'll raise up and down with the three point. It's just one that'll hook on the draw bar to the rear hitch down there on the mower. It's gonna be just a pull type bush hog. I've got one already. I just gotta put an engine on it. I just figured I'd make this video because my buddy Giver the Beans 97 my brother's his channel name. Go subscribe to him. He makes some cool videos about mud mowers and riding trails on mowers and stuff. Go give him, go subscribe to him. He's the one that actually, <laughs> he didn't recommend I make a video about this, but he just told me I needed some more uh, mower related content, so. And I, he was right, not right, but I knew he did, or I knew he was. So I just figured I'd go ahead and make this. Got some time here, I ain't doing nothing. You guys like what you see here and want to see more stuff like this and more stuff on our 06 F350 dually we got. I'm get, actually getting a new truck here in about two days. I'm gonna make some videos on it. We've got four wheeler content, should be coming out. I need to make some on that little Polaris 90 Sportsman over there. It's my sister's. So let's see how it, uh, what happens. You guys like the content, you like my channel. Uh, like, comment, go give it a subscribe. Yeah. So, go ahead and end it here and I'll see you guys in the next one.